You've seen someone's head fly off or blow up or melt down? Well, if you did, it was probably the work of our first guest, Master of the Macabre, creator of special makeup effects for shockers like Dawn of the Dead, Maniac, and I can't even say this without getting cold chills, Friday the 13th. Please welcome Tom Savini. Great, great. I can't, how can I deal with this? This is unbelievable. Your problem, I don't know. Oh, God. The, I, got, I better take the mods off, I'm going to talk to you. And... Okay. Oh. And they're like contact lenses? These are just... They're called sclera. Sclera. And were they plastic? Mm-hmm. So, plastic or glass, depends. And these, let's, let's see those fangs again. Ah. And you can... Gee, that, that's a... Sometimes the tops are more effective, but uh, then it gives you a lisp and you can't really talk <laughs> mean with them, you know. Vampires, probably vampires. Too. There you go. And those are specially made for you? Yeah, I made them from a cast of my own teeth. Tell me about the, this whole thing of special effects. It's really had a, gone through a lot of changes in the past, say, 20 years. And you sort of followed that. Tell us about the history of special effects. Well, there's all sorts of special effects used in films. Um, traveling mats, um, opticals, glass paintings. This is just an example of makeup special effects, which is what I do, and that's what my credit usually is in, in films. Um, makeup special effects have always been around. Wizard of Oz, way back in the silent films, uh, Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, um, Phantom of the Opera with Lon Chaney. That's what started for me. I saw a film called Man of a Thousand Faces, which yeah, was a story sure. of Lon Chaney, and from that moment on, <laughs> makeup's been my thing. Wow. Oh, you got... It's, gotten very technical. Show us some of the things you have here. Sure. This, uh, these are all things from a movie I just finished called Creepshow. Oh, yeah. Where, um, well, first let me say that Creepshow is my opportunity to get away from blood and gore films, splatter films, as they've been yep. called, okay? Splatter yep. films are on the way out. Mm -hmm. uh, and the monsters are coming back. They're remaking the thing. They're remaking the creature from the Black Lagoon. And I'm lucky enough to should, have just... Should I say that's good news? I mean, oh, yeah, either I think way, it's great either way I, I think it's like fabulous news. scare me news. out of the seat. Yeah. yeah, I think it's fabulous news. And, and I'm lucky enough to have just finished a film that has used lots of monsters and creatures and special makeups. And that's what these are a part of. This was, it is, an over-the-head mask the guy wore coming out of a grave, rising... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's oh, see yes. that. Yeah. See that stringy stuff in his teeth? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, from, Creepshow is a living comic book, and the stringy stuff between all these monsters' teeth has always been sort of a trademark of those, uh, that kind of comic book. So this is made from latex and Rice Krispies and... Rice Krispies? Really? Yeah, Rice Krispies. It's molded from uh, the life mask of the actor who wears it. He wears it like a mask. It's got yeah. a fiberglass insert, so the lower jaw will move at once like a real... Uh, that's skeleton wood. Just that's saying. a long way from snap, crackle, pop, let me tell you. I'll tell you. Whew, and these wow. are his hands. Yeah. So he wore um, these. The, uh, these are slip-on. That's right. I do remember. These are comic books were from, like, the 50s, right? Oh, yeah. And they, they had all these, these things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they were, they were. You talk about splatter. Those comic books were full, full, of, full of splatter yeah. and gore and stuff. You know? well, now, what are these we've got here? Okay, this is an animated hand. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So oh, the fingers are movable. It moves exactly the way a real hand would move. So you've actually got like a bone structure of uh, an armature inside oh, there. Oh, yeah, there's an armature. This goes crawling across the floor and grabs it <laughs> out of his pant legs. Like that. And he oh, throws great, it off great, and it yeah. goes crawling back and grabs oh, it. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's oh, got a good grip on it, too. It really honest. does. Oh, God. Show us yeah. Oh, what do we Okay, do? this is... Um, there's a monster... Oh. Oh, There's a monster in Creepshow that I can't show you or tell you about. Uh, he's been nicknamed Fluffy. We want to keep him a secret for when he appears in the film. This is his hand, though. Uh, it's not decorated, and it's not... Um... So there's a, there's a real hand inside it. Oh, yeah. The actor yeah. who wears Fluffy wears the hands also. This is what's left of uh, Adrian Barbeau once Fluffy gets a hold of her. Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, geez. That's what's left of her. You and watch... This, this, is, this, this will... Take your eye. Oh, that's going to be scary. And Whoa. this was just an, uh, an, uh, the way the corpse hand comes out of the mold before we decorate it with the Rice Krispies and the latex. So th this, again, is cast in latex? Right. You're this is called it? foam latex. Foam, okay. One of the uh, innovations of special effects. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, you've got a, something big here. Let's, are we ready to go over to him? Yeah, let's okay. try something. Let's, show, me, show me what I should do here. Um, what are we going to do? Are we going to call somebody out of the audience, perhaps? Yeah. Okay. What, what, what do you want me to do? Okay. You hold this and push all these, these levers, levers forward when I tell you to, okay? All right. And I'll operate this thing. Uh, let's see if we can lift it up here a little all bit. All right. 
Okay. All right, let's what, so now you just push, push these all those push? levers Here forward. We go. Right. Let's have a volunteer here. Let's pick okay. out... Hey, Chris, come on, come on Okay, we got Chris here. We're gonna shake hands with him, Chris, and I'll Chris? open the hand. When Chris grabs it, close it. There you go. Not too hard, Chris. This is a oh. real skeleton. <laughs> the, he's really fresh. This is a real skeleton? It's a real skeleton imported from <laughs> India. The boxes the, these things come in, they have to be labeled as to uh, the origin. And every, I had three or four skeletons ordered from, from this company in North Carolina. When they arrived, the boxes all said, shipped from India, so. Uh, times are tough. Well, um, I guess in India. Show, yeah. Now, Ch Chuk, you do what you want with Chris. I don't okay, know what to um, do here. Are we, on, are we on the face? Because we can do a thing with All the right. face here. Let's try the face. Why don't you grab this you, mechanism? You oh, yeah, Chris. You now, what you need to do, Chris, right. maybe you should stay over sure. there. Okay. Push those forward. Push those levers. Don't do it yet, though. I have to turn him on. Turn the power and on. This is radio control, so you're actually into... Yeah, these are... Um, this is all part of... Um, remote control airplanes, you know, right. kids who go out right. and fly these planes. Inside the head, he's full of remote control mechanisms in there that'll make him do this. Now let's, okay, right. when I say you push those forward, push them forward, okay? Go ahead now. Oh See that? Now it took 11 people to operate. You can let go of that now. And do this, this relax a smile. Oh yeah. my gosh. That's some, thanks Chris, thanks a lot. Thank you, Chris. Did, this kind of thing, this would be a part, you will, the camera selectively takes it. Oh, so sure, you think sure. this is the whole creature here, and you've got people all well, off, off frame operating. Right. When you see this creature, he's got a costume on, a very free-flowing costume. He's got a hood on, and there's a wind machine going, so his hair is blowing, and the costume is swirling. And the 11 people behind him are making him look around, smile, and do this to kids, and point. Um, he raises his head, he, he looks around by turning this mechanism. So we actually had to choreograph all these movements uh, for the camera when we shot the film, or this segment of the film, his segment. His name is Raul, by the way. We nicknamed everything in the film. Let me go over here. I've got a, some okay. anxious questions over here. Yeah. Where's my... Yeah. How long did it take you to make that... Speech? To make Raul? Yeah. Well, that, it's hard to say because uh, as we were working on Raul, we were also working on other things at the same time. We only finished Raul when it was time for him to go on camera, say the next day or so. I really can't, uh, I would estimate it took uh, maybe two months, you know, with the, all the time combined. What you're moving from is really something even closer from makeup into almost puppetry. I mean, like oh, a, sure, a it's a glorified puppetry. Muppet. Yeah. Not a glorified, yeah. it's, a, it's an Industrial evil. strength Muppet, it really is like yeah, hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me get back. Um, right. Like say just for that movie, the new movie made Creep Show. Yeah. How much it, did it cost for, say, the, all the special, not special effects, but things like that? Hmm, again, that's a question that I, I can't answer. Now, you 